Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'd like to take a look at uh, solving a linear ODE but with a periodic input. And specifically we're asked to find one solution, the, uh, a particular solution, which is also the periodic solution of the differential equation x dot dot plus 2x dot plus 4x equals the square wave function. So the square wave function is a uh, periodic function with period 2 pi is defined as minus 1 and 1 on the intervals minus pi to 0 and 0 to pi. And we know that uh, the square wave function has the following Fourier series. So I'll let you think about this problem for a moment, and I'll come back in a second. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. OK. So the reason we've been studying uh, Fourier series is to essentially solve differential equations with complicated forcing inputs on the right-hand side, which are periodic. And the reason we've been uh, studying Fourier series is because we know that differential equations with sines and cosines as forcing terms on the right-hand side are relatively easy to solve. And uh, we want to be able to solve uh, the same differential equation with a more complicated periodic function on the right-hand side. So the general approach is to first decompose the right-hand side into a Fourier series. Okay, And this step is essentially already done for us. We're told what the Fourier series is. Then what we do is we solve the ODE x dot dot plus 2x dot plus 4x. And I'm just going to take one term of the Fourier series, sine nt. So if we know the right-hand side is a sum of a whole bunch of sines, what we're going to do is we're going to solve for uh, any specific one of those sines. So we want to solve this differential equation. And then we use superposition. So if we know what the solution is to one sine nt, and we know that the right-hand side forcing is a sum of many sine nt's with uh, appropriate weight factors, then we can use superposition to construct a final solution. OK, so this is the method to attack this problem. All right, so we've already done step one, or we were given step one, and we wanted to solve step two. And we can solve this just using the exponential response formula. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, complexify the right-hand side. So. I want to solve the differential equation x dot dot plus 2x dot plus 4x equals sine nt. I'm going to denote the solution with a subscript n. And it's going to be the imaginary part of, and I'm just using the exponential response formula, 1 over the characteristic polynomial evaluated at i n e to the i n t. You might ask, how did I get that? Well, I basically just took the complexified formula, or sorry, the complexified equation, and noted that sine nt was the imaginary part of e to the int, and then used the exponential response formula. And I want to take the imaginary part at the end of the day. So what is uh, the characteristic polynomial? In this case, it's s squared plus 2s plus 4, which means that p of i n is going to be negative n squared plus 4, so I'll just group the real terms together, plus 2 i n, so the 2 i n comes from the 2 s term, and then x of n is going to be the imaginary part of 1 over 4 minus n squared 
plus 2in e to the int. And I'm, I'm going to use the, ampli um, sorry, the, the amplitude phase uh, form to convert, this, or to convert this Cartesian complex number. Uh, sorry, I'm going to convert this Cartesian complex number into an amplitude phase form just because it's going to make taking the imaginary part of the solution uh, very easy at the end of the day. So the amplitude of this complex number is 4n, sorry, 4 minus n squared, quantity squared, plus the imaginary part squared, so that's 4n squared, square rooted. And then we have e upstairs is e i n t, and downstairs is going to be e i n phi, sorry, e i phi. And I'm going to put a subscript n on the phi, just because for each, for each complex number, we're going to have a different phase phi. And that phi, uh, phase phi n is going to be the arctangent of 2n divided by 4 minus n squared, like that. OK, so now I can combine phi of n with uh, the upstairs term i n t in the exponent. And when I take the imaginary part, I'm only going to be left with sine of n t minus phi n. So x of n is going to be 1 over 4 minus n squared squared plus 4n squared. Quantity squared, square rooted, times sine of nt minus phi n, where phi n was given using the arctangent formula. And this gives us a solution which, note, is periodic with period 2t. Note oh, right. Uh, I should also note that phi of n is between. Uh, 0 and 2 pi, sorry, 0 and, and pi. And this gives us this one solution uh, to the differential equation with a forcing of sine nt on the right-hand side. So now what we want to do is we want to sum up uh, many of these solutions using the superposition principle. So if I go back now, I'm going to write the original differential equation. So I'm just going to go back and just rewrite this. And I'm going to write the right-hand side using its Fourier series, 1 over n sine nt, where n is odd. Okay. And this is the problem we originally wanted to solve. And essentially what we've done is we've solved the problem for each individual sine nt. So how do we get the full solution? Well, what we have to do is we have to multiply the solution for each sine nt by a factor of 4 divided by pi and 1 over n. And then we have to add all of these solutions up for all odd values of n. So for example, x is just going to be 4 over pi sum of n odd 1 over n times the solution to every sine nt, which we've already computed and I've denoted as x sub n. And x sub n is up here. So if we want to be explicit about it, I'll write the whole thing out as 4 over pi n odd, 1 over 4 minus n squared, quantity squared, plus 4n squared, square rooted. We also have a factor of n out front. And we have a sign nt minus phi n. OK, so there's the final answer for a particular solution in its full uh, glorious detail. We can also check that this particular solution is periodic. Note how each sign nt is periodic 
and each uh, sine nt has period of at least 2 pi. So when we sum up a whole bunch of functions which all have period of at least 2 pi, the, the sum is also going to be a periodic function with at least 2 pi. And, uh, and a, as a result, this gives us uh, the, the answer we're looking for. Also, in addition, if we want the full general solution to the differential equation, to this particular solution, we also have to add the homogeneous piece. So uh, this concludes the problem. And uh, I'll just quickly recap. When solving a differential equation with a periodic forcing function on the right-hand side, again, to iterate the steps, you first Fourier decompose the right-hand side into si uh, summation of sines and cosines. You then solve the differential equation for uh, sine nt, cosine nt individually. This gives you a solution for each term on the right-hand side of the differential equation. And then at the end of the day, you use superposition to sum up all, this, all of the solutions. And that gives you one final big solution. OK, so I hope you enjoyed this problem, and I'll see you next time.